What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to discuss a few things which have popped up while I've been in my bed dreaming of a better destiny too. Now most of this info comes from a reliable source, in fact a bunch of themselves. The main man there for me, who is one of the few I still have faith in, his name is Christopher Barrett. He is the game director for Destiny 2. So over the past few days we have seen him tweet out a few things. So let's start with this. DMG04, who is a part of the Destiny player support team, tweeted this. With Cosmo back in office, you'll see me much more often in the Bungie.net forums, hitting feedback and other threads as often as I can. Keep it up. Zero replied with this, you looking to bring collectible items like dead ghosts back to destiny? Barrett replied with yes. Barrett then tweeted at this, quoting his yes reply, to be clear, we are adding more collectibles and hidden secrets to future expansions. Sounds interesting, but what does this mean? Well, let's look at Destiny 1. If you didn't play or you've been lost in the nothingness of Destiny 2, D1 offered many things to collect in the form of dead ghosts, each having its own lore hidden behind it. There were many of these things scattered all over the game, via strikes, raids, planets, social spaces, absolutely everywhere. They were great to collect, they were great to grind for, they really were. Now things as such returning would be welcomed on my behalf and it would add to the depth this game really needs. But I'm not sure these ghosts are what he means. It could be or mean anything, but yes, giving us reason to play in the form of running around, collecting things, completing activities in order to obtain a certain collectible is something the game misses for damn sure. The game needs more depth and this will add to that, I'm certain. Interestingly, he states hidden secrets added to future expansions. Now this for sure tickles my pickle. With expansions for Destiny 1, we saw the likes of the Sleeper Simulant, the Outbreak Prime, the Touch of Malice, the Black Spindle and many other secrets which came with expansions. These were absolutely great, they really were. Now we knew some of them existed, but some just sprung up. The Black Spindle for instance was found, I believe, by accident and all of a sudden, boom, it was there, a secret exotic within the game. This is the sort of thing many, many of us enjoy and miss from the first game. There was nothing like running around trying to find hidden things which no one else had discovered yet. And they don't even have to be exotics either, just loot exclusively to a certain activity. It falls into the same category of enjoyment you get from playing something such as strike exclusive loot. Secret loot hidden within activities also adds to the itch only scratched by playing. This is what most of us miss. So adding secrets into future expansions can only be a good thing. Now moving on, a message Sean asks this. Will weapon and arm mods be discussed? Barrett replies with an image of a black ball saying signs point to yes. Now we all know the mod system in this game is well, well it's not beat around the bush here, it sucks. There are a few mods people look for, the others are scrapped. What we need here is variety. Give us reason to truly want to receive mods, give us reason to search for mods, give us reason to grind for mods. I mean, I have a million ideas of how to make a mod system work, but I'm pretty sure you guys do too. Let's just hope they deliver on this aspect of the game. Okay, so moving on, and TIE Fighter 17 asks this, will Derek or Josh finally inform us on PvP? Barrett again replied with the same image, signs point to yes. Now for me, PvP is in a way worse state than PvE. PvP for me is just like, well, I'll play two games, get bored, and go back to PvE. I would absolutely love a reason to play PvP. I know they mentioned ranked systems, private matches, etc, etc, which is great. And this should be expected to be covered in the weekly update, which will come out later, discussing all the above points also. But yeah, PvP definitely need, again, more depth to it. Barrett replied to a question about Rumble where he posted the same image, signs point to yes. But we knew about this already, Rumble was obviously coming back and it's good to see the PvP side of the game getting what's needed. Now as for me, I actually like playing PvP, there's just no reason to play it at the moment, give us reason to play and people will play, it's as simple as that. Now as great as all of this sounds, I don't mean to end the video on a negative remark. It's super good these features are being added to the game, it truly is. It's what's needed, the game needs more depth, hopefully they deliver. But the point here is, the features being added here, rumble, rank PvP, collectibles, secrets, depth, in-game and so forth, really should have been a part of the base game. 
I mean, it's great they've seen what's missing and what we want and they plan to deliver on that, but in reality, it shouldn't be in its current state to start with. Said features should be already in the game, and with that in mind, people, if the game was fine at this point and we weren't missing features as such, imagine what a major update to the game right now would have brought to the game. Imagine what we would be getting at this point, people. Just imagine. On that note guys, thanks for stopping by as always and I do appreciate that support. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.